Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is part of my 50 top 50 mistakes that I see restaurant tours make. And uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, number 27, they don't tell the truth to the guest. You know, I, it's, I'm so big on this with my staff. Tell our story and don't lie. You know, just don't lie. Things happen. It's a restaurant, okay? We turn things into jokes. We turn things around. We're going to burn food. We're going to drop food. We're going we're gonna to screw food up. There's food that's going to go bad in a cooler. And, you know, here's the part that sucks. You know, sometimes there's bad food in the cooler and we're getting ready to serve it. The order comes in and the food's bad. And you're like, oh my gosh, this, this pompano went bad. I can't believe this. The special went bad. But we have an order for it. What do we do? What do we do? You know what? You just... You're a, go and you're a hundred percent honest. You know, I'm sorry. The chef in the kitchen is not happy with the last few pieces of pompano that we have. He would not eat it himself. He'd not want to serve it to you. Sorry, it was an oversight. He should have checked it earlier. Honesty goes a long way, people. Be honest to your guests. We dr we all drop food. We know that happens. All restaurants drop food. When was the last time you were in a restaurant where they actually told you they dropped your meal? Right. It's never happened. When we drop somebody's food, we say, you know, I'm sorry, we dropped the burger bun. We're going to actually, it's going to be five more minutes, we have to get another burger bun, we have to recook another, whatever it is. We dropped your food. We've had to tell a customer that probably three times here at the restaurant. Do you know how long, how far that goes? In 10 years and three, they're like, oh my gosh, I've never had a restaurant be that honest to me. Thank you so much. Take as much time as you want. Wow, you know? Your, honest, your honesty pays off immensely. We're going to screw up. It's going to happen. Be 100% honest. You know, there's times where I walk in the kitchen, I look at the food going on, I, I pull the table. I say, stop, we're not serving that. Then I go to the table and say, you know what? I was just watching your table come up. I wasn't happy with one of the dishes or two of the dishes or any of the dishes. I have instructed my staff to recook your food, replate it, make new vegetables, whatever it is. If you don't mind waiting an extra 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I know you've waited, but I really want you to be happy since you already have waited for your food to get what you're to get what you're going to want and be happy with instead of waiting and not being happy. Customers understand. Be honest, it pays off. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano, thanks for watching and go be honest. So I've been running my restaurant Aroma Time for 10 years in the Hudson Valley. And I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave. The restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here. I didn't trust anybody. I turned everything around. I've been here 10 full years, like I've said. I've defeated all the odds. I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. And that's how I can confidently say, I can help you. I can switch that mindset. I can teach you. Uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10 year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is I work on my business. I don't work my business, which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please, send me an email.